Palm Sunday to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Feliz Domingo de Palmas or de Ramas. Y we just want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. I'm excited now about you, but uh, uh, it's Palm Sunday. And next week is Resurrection Sunday. So praise God, and I'm excited for what Jesus has done for us. Amen. So we want to welcome all of you that are watching by video or listening by audio. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. So praise God. Buckle your seatbelts and let's get ready. Amen. We're not going to hold you long. So just get easy and listen to what God has to say. Amen. Amen. Listen to what Jesus has done for us. Amen. Look what the Lord has done. Yes. It's exciting. Amen. If we make it exciting, it's going to be exciting. Yes. We make it sad. We make it bad. It's going to be bad. Yeah. But you know what? You just got to take that off, you know, and say, praise God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Yeah. So just listen for a few minutes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Yes. And we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Glad That's what he tells us. Rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because we're going to cast all cares on him because he cares for us. Amen. He put Jesus on the cross and Jesus gave himself up. And he said, Father, forgive them. Amen. I mean, that'll be next week. But <laughs> he said, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Right, right. Amen. And sometimes we just got to go and, and tell them on a daily basis when we spend time with him. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Help me. I need your help. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yeah, we all do. Praise God. Amen. So we just want to welcome you. And uh, you buckle your seatbelt and let's get ready to go. Amen. Amen. And we're going to be talking about the triumphant entry of Jesus. Amen. He made a triumphant entry into the city of um, Jerusalem. Amen. And we're going to be finding out here in a few minutes. So, hallelujah. God is good. And uh, let's get going. Amen. Before we do that, grab your swords. Soldier of God. Warrior of God. Amen. Here's your weapon. <laughs> What's your weapon? The Word of God. The yeah. Bible. Amen. Yes. And uh, say it like you mean it. Amen. Right. So, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know what? Your mind is alert. Yes. It is so sharp. You know, the enemy tries to get involved. So you got to be careful. The Bible says to renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. Because the enemy, the world, and all kinds of things are going to come and try to distract you. Uh -huh. That's a good word, distraction, you know. It's going to try to distract you from your course, from your race, from your mission God has put you on. God has put you on a mission. Some of you listening haven't even started yet. God <laughs> wants you to start. Amen. He put you here for a reason. He put you yes. here so that you can complete, complete your yes. mission. It's not about compete. It's about complete, amen? And we spend more time competing against each other uh -huh. and trying to show each other each other off mm -hmm. instead of trying to complete and encourage mm -hmm. and, you know, give somebody a pat in the back and say, uh -huh. hey, you can do all things through Christ. Oh, you know, man. you're doing great, amen? And that's what they wanted to hear. And that's what we need to yes. do, amen? Yes. Praise God. Complete this race he's given us, this mission he's given us. He saw you so valuable. He, he, he gave you a mission. He gave you a yes. call with an anointing, with power and the gifts needed to fulfill that call. Amen. Uh -huh. But we need to focus and pay attention and spend time with him. Yes. It's called relationship. And when we spend relationship with him, when we spend time with him, yeah. we find out our course. We yes. find out our priorities. Seek him first. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Seek him first. Amen. And all things will come together. Amen. Woo, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm excited. So a triumphant entry of Jesus. Happy Palm Sunday. Feliz Domingo de Palmas. This is the beginning of the Holy Week. Amen. Yes. We don't find out much about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But come Thursday, guess what? <laughs> He's arrested. Uh -huh. Amen. And we're going to go through some, some of those things. And then Friday, he is crucified. Saturday, you know, he goes to, he goes away for three days and three nights, and then he rises up. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Praise God. So praise God, praise God, praise God. Let me see what I wrote here for you. Woo! Praise God. Palm Sunday, a day of celebration. We celebrate Palm Sunday in order to remember and honor the triumphant entry of Jesus into the streets of Jerusalem. With people coming around him and waving palms, uh -huh. amen, just grab your palm, wave your palm, <laughs> amen, <laughs> yeah. or some laying on the street yeah. as, as King Jesus came in, amen. Uh -huh. They had a nice uh, parade for him, amen. Yeah. They were excited and they welcomed him in observance of the Sunday before the resurrection or mm -hmm. Easter Sunday. Where yes. we grew up uh, recognizing it as Easter Sunday, uh -huh. but it's Resurrection Sunday. He yes. rises yes. up. Yes. Amen. Y'all don't know if you heard, but he is risen. Yes. <laughs> he is risen. He's no longer in in in, in, in the grave. A lot of lot of lot of important people have died, but uh -huh. they're still in their graves. Yep. Amen. But our Jesus, He rose again. Yes, he Amen. Did. So Hallelujah, and that's going to be. God. April 4th, which is coming up, amen, that next week. Yes. Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday, April 4th. Whoo! Palm Sunday was placed in path before his arrest on Holy uh, Thursday and his crucifixion on Good Sunday. It's called Good Sunday, but that's when he was uh, 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 crucified. So. Good Sunday or Good Friday? Good Friday, excuse me. <laughs> good Friday. I got to tell you this little story that uh, I, I, I tell at this time, you know, and uh, anyway, hope you laugh. <laughs> the little boy on Palm Sunday stayed home because he was sick. So mom and the son stay home. Dad goes to church. <sighs> he returns with a palm. And the little boy is curious. He asks, why do you have that palm, Dad? Quoting the pastor, says, when Jesus came in town, everybody waved the palms to honor him. So we got palm branches today. The little boy replied, oh, Ma, he says, one Sunday I miss Sunday, I miss uh, school or, or, or church, and Jesus shows up. Uh -huh. Amen. So you don't want to miss any Sundays because you know what? He shows up every, <laughs> every Sunday. Sunday. Not only that, he shows up every day of your life. Yes. Amen. When you spend time with him, he's always there. He says he never leaves you, no forsakes him. Amen. We just like the little boy said, man, I don't want to miss because he shows up. So guess what? He's showing up and you're not showing up. He shows up and you're AWOL. He's showing up and you're absent. Not because you had to, because you wanted to. So we got to stop doing that. We got to stop playing games. I've told you this many times and I'll say it again. You're no match. A part-time Christian is no match to a full-time right. devil. That's right. Amen. Full-time devil is strong. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you cannot over overcome that by the flesh. That's it. Amen. You need the word of God. Yes. If you don't have the word of God in you and you don't have the word of God coming out of you right. and taking that authority, yeah. you're no match to the enemy. That's it. When the enemy hears your word, the word of God coming out of you, mm -hmm. he takes a hike. Says, submit yeah. yourself to God, resist the devil, he'll flee. Amen. So we, we, we have a job to do. We have a mission to do. Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. Let me see how I wrote it here. It says, so don't miss any Sundays because Jesus shows up every Sunday and every day. It's called relationship, people. Yes. Amen. It's called relationship. Uh -huh. Commitment. Surrender. Give yourself totally to him. Not just part of you. Yes. All of you. We want all of Jesus when we need him. Yes. Amen. Well, Lord, I need all of you. Uh -huh. Not just part of me. I need all of you. Right. Well, he wants all of you. Not just part of you. Amen. Come on now. Yes. <laughs> Woo, we can have, we, we had church already. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give yourself totally to him. You know, when Jesus went to the tree, mm -hmm. you know, it all started at the tree. Yeah. When Adam and Eve took from the tree mm. and Jesus went back to the tree. And he was crucified at the tree mm -hmm. so that we could have everlasting life. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Woo, man, I'm yes. happy already. <laughs> so all four Gospels include this event. Amen. And uh, I'm not going to give you all that information, but all the four Gospels cover this event. The week preceding the Jewish uh, Passover was a time when the Jews came 
all over from all over the world to make a journey to visit Jerusalem. Right. And Josephus, I don't know if you ever heard of Josephus, but he's a Jewish uh, historian. Mm -hmm. He estimated over two million people come together. Wow. Amen. That's a lot of people. Yes, it is. Amen. And there's more now. So we need to come together, you know, and say we assemble ourselves together just to celebrate this palm this uh this holy week coming up. Yes. And today yes. is Palm Sundays. Amen. So yes. praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus spent three and a half years teaching through his words and actions. And we're to do the same thing. How do people know that you are his? Huh. By your words and your right. actions. Yes. Amen. The world, the enemy, the world is going to try to distract yeah. you and put all kind of things your way. Bad things, all kind of distractions. Yes. Yes. But you have to stay focused. Right. Amen. And that's what Jesus did. And many times he went and got away with the Father. Mm. And spent time with him. Basically he was saying, I need your help. <laughs> And we need his help. If yes. Jesus needed help, we need help. We need help. Yes, that's right. <laughs> help me. Yes. So, this is what the ministry is all about. Uh, sick, uh, sick healed, bones mended, demons driven out. You know why they're driven out? Because they don't want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got some in there that just don't want to come out. That's it. You know what Legion told Jesus? He says, you know, if you're going to cast us out, he already knew he was going out. <laughs> uh -huh. But he said, if you're going to cast us out, can you cast us into those pigs over there? Yes. Amen. And he did. He says, go. <laughs> you didn't have to say much. much. You know, he says, go. And that's what we need to do also, you know, say, hey, yes. this is not of God. Go in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hungry fed, forgive the unforgivable. You know any people like that? Uh. <laughs> I think we all know somebody uh -huh. that's unlovable. Amen. And nowadays it's even worse. Mm. And the Bible says that in 2 Timothy chapter 3 that, that in the last day it's going to be worse. Yes. And you know what? If you don't have him, if you don't have Jesus, it's going to be harder on yourself. Uh -huh. We need him now. Amen. We yeah. need him more than, than ever. Yes. Jesus now more than ever. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Love the unlovable. Do you have anybody like that? Uh, Do you know anybody like that? Hopefully you're not one of them. <laughs> Amen. Make it easy, you know. Yes. And help people. And share, share with people. Yes. And let them know God loves Amen. them. You know, the world and everybody else has already told them how bad they are. And how no good they are. And here you come. <laughs> Saying the same thing they're saying. No. You know, you're the closest thing to... Listen, you can write this down. <laughs> uh, you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or hear or be close to. That's it. So is the word coming out of you or not? Uh, huh? Don't just come and, and gather at church and jump right. up and down and, <laughs> and say nice things to the folks around here. And you leave this wall all and you're right, acting yeah. like the world. Come on now. Woo, man, we can have church already. Already. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, what do you say to that unlovable person when oh, wow. they shoot the finger at you? Oh, my gosh. Or they say things at you? Yes. Huh? Road do you bridge. answer them the, the same thing? You know how many uh, news breaks I've, seen, I've, I've heard and seen and read about? People getting shot because of road rage. Yes. People getting killed because of road rage. Mm. People getting jumped on at, at, at grocery stores. Oh, I love it. And no one even in the at, at the bar. <laughs> no one down the street. Mm. Still, you gotta have him. Yes. And you gotta keep on the whole said the full, full. armor yes. of God. Amen. <laughs> if you don't have it, you can't be a part-time Christian. That's it. Amen. Amen. You need to be a full time Amen. Christian. Come on now. You see a love pastor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> love the unlovable. You know what Jesus yes. did? Yes, he did. Amen. And the religious people didn't like that. Uh -uh. <laughs> and uh, one more thing is <laughs> the dead are raised. <laughs> Jesus proved it. Yes. Amen. The dead are raised. Amen. So yes. again, Palm Sunday is a day of celebration. Yes, Jesus is. is praised and worshipped. He is yes. Hosanna in the high, as they say. Uh -huh. You know, as they wave their palms as he was coming in. Yeah. Amen. So we're going to read a little more about it. Jesus began his final week of ministry by 
entering Jerusalem, amen, among a, a triumphant and victorious celebration. Mm -hmm. A parade. <laughs> yes. They had a parade for him. Yes, they did. Okay? But, just give you a quick insight. <laughs> the same crowd, <laughs> a week later, <laughs> is crucifying him. Yeah. And they welcome him as a king. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to crown him as a king. Uh -huh. And they're going to put a crown of thorns on his head. Say, oh, so you're a king. Let us crown you. Mm. <laughs> Multitudes uh, greeted him, shouting, Hosanna, Hosannas, waving palms in their hands yeah. as he entered the city of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. So King Jesus rides in uh, Jerusalem on a, on a donkey coat, huh. <laughs> knowing he was riding to his death. Yes. He already knew this. When he left heaven, he knew. Yes. All the time he was here, he knew. Yes. But now he's going on his final week. Yes. Amen. And he's riding this uh, donkey to his death, knowing what awaits him. You don't know what awaits you, but why not be on his side, yes. on God's side, oh, and not yeah. against him? That's it. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Let's 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 remember this. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, This is the day the Lord has given you. Uh -huh. Rejoice, be glad in it. Yes. We don't know what's up ahead. We don't know what giants await you. That's right. But still you know the greater one is with me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. He's backing you. He's with yes. you. And he's pulling for you. Yes. Amen. Stop. Thank it's time Lord. we stop fighting ourselves. Yes. Amen. It's time we stop listening to what the world has to right, say. Right. Amen. Listen to what he says about you. Yeah. And you see yourself the way he sees you. Yeah. He sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. Yeah. He sees you an overcomer. Amen. You know why we don't go to the past? Because he's forgiven your past. That's right. Amen. Amen. Just, for, just remember the good memories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing the end results. He knew his end results. He knew he was going to die, but he knew he was going to raise. Mm -hmm. And he knew there was going to be everlasting life because of him thank you jesus amen if you don't know what else to say say thank you yes amen thank you amen. for everlasting life mm -hmm. because when you die many say that's the end of it there's yeah. no mass <laughs> that's that's wrong <laughs> right. there's more to it <laughs> so if you have your bibles open your bibles to the book of matthew uh -huh. and i have it wrote here but you can follow along amen Matthew. Jesus triumphant in entry. Matthew what? Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 through 11. Matthew uh, chapter 21 verses 1 through 11. Okay. So Jesus enters Jerusalem as a king a week before his arrest, his crucifixion, and his resurrection. Uh -huh. And I'm going to read it to you from New King James. <clears throat> now when they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, Bethphage Bethage at the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Lose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything uh, to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them. Ain't that amazing? Yes. <laughs> It's all they have to say. Just uh -huh. follow along. You know, he's telling you what to say. Right. And we try to figure out, how's this going to work? <laughs> we told Ananias to go lay hands on Saul. <laughs> he says, do you know Saul? <laughs> do you know Saul? He's going around killing people like me, Christians. <laughs> but he says, well... You said it, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to obey yes. what you told me to do. Whatever he's told you to do, it's time you do it. Get it off the shelf. Yes. Uh, get up and uh -huh. do what he's calling you to Call do. Me. You know, he told uh, uh, Jonah <laughs> to go preach it at uh, Nineveh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what Jonah did? He, went, he did the opposite. <laughs> he, he jumped in the ship and went the other way. <laughs> but things started happening. <laughs> And things started getting rough, just like the mm -hmm. prodigal son. Things started getting bad. Yes. And then he finally oh. confessed and went and told the, the captain of the boat, the ship, he says, you're having a bad time because I'm here and I'm running oh. from God. He said, you can solve this problem. All you have to do is throw me over. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? <laughs> they threw him over. <laughs> 
But Jesus had already arranged for a big fish to get him. <laughs> and he did. And you know what? He was running from what God called him to do. But he came to his senses and said, yeah. you know what? It's best if I do what he tells me oh, to do. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you listening, some of you watching, uh -huh. God has told you to do something. Uh -huh. And you've never done it. Huh. It's time for you to obey. Yes. Amen. It's time for you to do what he's called you to do. Amen. Whether it's big or small, it doesn't matter. The What matters is that you obey him. Yes. Amen. I hate to stand before him and say, why didn't you obey what I said, oh. what I told you? Mm -hmm. That is bad. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, things worked out for uh, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> And things are going to work out for you. Yes. All you need to do is get yourself up, yeah. dust yourself, and yeah. get going. Never yeah. does it say go back. No. You know, he told Lot, uh, Lot <laughs> don't look back. Keep going. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> so, let me find out where I left off. <laughs> Verse 4. It says, if anyone, yeah, but he says, if anyone, mm -hmm. if anyone says anything to you, you shall say. So he didn't leave him in the mind. <laughs> he right. said, this is what I want you to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he told him. And verse 4 says, all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, uh -huh. 5, tell the daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming to you, uh -huh. lowly and sitting on a donkey, mm -hmm. a colt, the foal of a donkey. Mm -hmm. Amen. And verse 6 says, So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. Yeah. And this is what we need to do. Amen. He's still the head and we're yeah. the body. Right. Amen. We're the church. And he uh -huh. leads his church. And he's telling us what to do. Yes, yes. Amen. So we need to be obedient. And verse 7 says, They brought the donkey and the colt laid their clothes on them and set him on them uh -huh. and eight says and a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road yes. others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road yes then the multitude who went before and those who followed cried out saying hosanna to the son of david yes. blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest Verse 10, and he uh, had come into uh, Jerusalem. All the city was moved, saying, who is this? Yeah. And verse 11 says, so the multitude says, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Yeah. Amen. Man, this is awesome. Jesus yeah. came into Jerusalem as a king. Yes. And they was having this parade for him. Uh -huh. And they was waving their palms uh -huh. and saying, Hosanna. Hosanna. Amen. Who in the highest? So, Holy Week starts. Yes. <laughs> Jesus enters Jerusalem. We don't hear, hear that quite a bit. As an exalted king. Amen. High, glorious, dignified. Yes. Week later, he is rejected and crucified wow. by the same people. The crowd has seen Jesus call Nazareth to life. Uh -huh. Many came because they heard of the mighty miracle. Yes. During this week, this holy week, many turned from him. Many mocked him and yeah. many ridiculed him. His disciples betray him. Amen. They lie. They hide. <laughs> they disown him. <laughs> yeah. So we don't want to do this. No. If you've done that, you've done what the disciples did. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you know, it's time for you to, Lord, <laughs> I'm sorry. I repent. I've yes. sinned against you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. So this is what we need to do. But uh, he called Lazarus from death. You know, when his sisters came and, and told Jesus about their brother, he waited four days. Mm. <laughs> and finally he came and says, let's go. They said, why? He's already stinking. Why should we go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He wanted to make sure that he was dead. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, he was dead. And, and they went. And yeah. you know, when he called Lazarus, Lazarus came. And you know, they used to wrap him in yeah. swaddling clothes. 
So I don't know how he walked <laughs> or what happened. Maybe the uh, swaddling clothes just fell off. I don't know. Whatever happened, happened. But it was a miracle, and he came out, and he was alive, okay? So, praise God. <laughs> Don't try to figure it out. It happened. It's a miracle. <laughs> you know, every day, you see a miracle yourself. Yes. When you get yourself off, off, off the bed. Mm -hmm. When Jesus says, wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to get up. Some of us don't want to get up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time to get up. Yes. And get yourself up. I mean, that's a miracle. Just opening yes. your eyes. Yes, it is. You know? So, one of these days, you're going to wake up in heaven. Huh. Hopefully, you fix that here before you go there. <laughs> we say, make sure yes. that you're saved. Make right. sure he's your Lord and Savior before you go. Amen. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. Don't let nobody uh, tell you other kind of things. Yes. You know? We're going to read this in a few minutes, but... John 4, 14, uh, 6, said, uh, 6 says that Jesus says that there's no way to the Father except through me. Uh -huh. I am the way, the yes. truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. That's it. So money, good looks, <laughs> ugly looks, <laughs> whatever anybody's told you. There's no other way except through uh -huh. Jesus. And how do you receive Jesus? All you need to do is just confess and say, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be yes. my Lord and Savior. And you know what? <clears throat> He's going to take you. He's going to receive you. Yes. As His. Amen? Amen. And stop calling yourself a sinner. Now you're a child of God. Yes. Amen? You're a child and He's your Heavenly Father. Yes. See yourself that way. Amen. And even when you sin again, if you sin again, just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Forgive me, Father. Yes. And he will. Amen. Woo, yeah, that was yeah. a freebie. <laughs> so Holy Week starts. And you know, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll, we'll just uh, forget about those for now. <laughs> we'll start with Thursday. Thursday, he's been arrested. But before that, it says, Jesus gives us a new commandment. Love the Father and love one another. Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, we would love one another. Mm -hmm. Especially children of God. Yes. We would love one another. There's people out there that don't want to love you. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that hate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially if they find out you're a Christian. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's why a lot of us don't say anything. Uh -huh. That's why a lot of us don't speak. Uh -huh. Amen. A lot of us only Christians on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not be that way. That's right. right. <laughs> the Last Supper is the final meal that Jesus shares with his apostles in Jerusalem before his crucifixion. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And yes. you know, say, hey, you ain't gonna wash my feet. Uh. Well, he says, get away from me. Uh -huh. I don't know you. Mm. He says he's gonna wash your feet. Amen. Yes. Remember, Jesus came. The Bible tells us in the uh, in, in the gospels Jesus came to serve yes. not to be served right and he's trying to serve on them and especially one of them wouldn't let him now, now you ain't going to touch me but he says you know you have to you have to let me or else mm. you know depart from me go right Woo, hallelujah that's not what he said that's what I'm saying now <laughs> <laughs> he predicted his uh, betrayal Jesus predicts uh, Peter's denial. Uh -huh. Amen. Peter was ready to fight for him. Oh, yeah. But when they asked him, the soldiers asked uh -huh. him, hey, that's one of them. He says, no, I'm not. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people walk up to you and say, hey, I saw you at church. Uh -oh. Or I saw you coming out. Excuse me, they didn't come yeah. in. <laughs> they saw you coming out of church. Out of church. Uh -huh. Or I heard you're a Christian. Uh -huh. Oh, no, not me. Uh -huh. No, no. <laughs> Quit denying it. Yes. That's <laughs> Step right. out. You know, <laughs> hey, gay people's come out of their closets. You know, oh, everybody else has come out of their closet, oh. and, and the Christians are still in the closet. That's right. Help us all, Lord. <laughs> Help us all. Yes, He yes. died for them too. But still, we need to come out of our closet and quit being wimps. Yes. <laughs> Amen. We're warriors, not wimps. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Jesus predicts Peter's denial. And of course, uh, I'll just read you this, John 
14, chapter 14, verse 6 says, Jesus told them, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and no one comes can come, no one can come to the Father except through me. Right. So there's no other way. That's it. I don't care who said what. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me let me grab this. <laughs> those of you watching, those of you listening, I'm holding a holy Bible oh, in my man. hands. <laughs> this is the only way that you can get in. <laughs> Amen. He is the only way. He, that's what he said. He says, no one can go through the Father except through me. No one can come to the Father except uh -huh. through me. And this is how you get it. Receive him as yes. your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. I know we're, gonna, we're not going to finish all this today, but that's okay. okay. I'm not going to hold you long. <laughs> <laughs> We got the message. And in John 14, 26, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He says, I'm gonna go. Uh -huh. But guess what? He says, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the Holy Spirit. Yes. And guess what? This yeah. body says, Your body is the temple yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So ooh, come on now. Uh -huh. But the help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. Uh-huh. The Father's gonna send him in my name. Yes. He will teach you all things and yes. bring to your remembrance all uh -huh. things that I said to you. Amen. Amen. So praise God, this body is not yours. Yes. <laughs> he right. died for it. Yes. Amen. He paid a debt he didn't know. And he we owe a debt. We can't pay. That's it. But this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it is. And belongs to him. And we belong to him. Yeah. You just gotta know this. So that we can come to our senses and yeah. confess him as Lord and Savior and start living for him. Amen. And start doing for him. Yes. Amen. And quit hiding yourself uh -huh. and come out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. John 15, 1 and 2 says this, the true vine. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes. Yes. That it may bear more fruit. More fruit. Amen. So he's going to clean us up. Yes, he is. He's going to trim us. Oh, and, yeah. You know, just like the potter, you know, we're on his on his lap, we're on his hands, and, and he's going to dress us and, and fix us and, and do all those good things to us. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Us. Shape us and mold us whichever way. But still, we're his. Amen. Yes. John 15, 18 says, the world hater. <laughs> The world's hater. Uh. If the world hates you, you know that if it hated me before it hated you. This is what he's saying, you know, saying, know this. The world's going to hate you. But know this, it hated me first. Uh. Amen. So, look, up, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You what else is that now? Uh, John 15, 8, 18. Oh, 18, okay. All right. You know, um, <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, Paul and Silas. Uh -huh. <laughs> they got caught and they got beat and they got yeah. put in prison. He said, stick away down. God, I don't want them to come out. Uh -huh. <laughs> it don't matter where people stick you. When you're his, you're going to come to the top. That's it. Look at, jo look like at Joseph. He even his brothers, <laughs> his brothers, uh -huh. <laughs> put him in. They, first, they want to kill him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Then they sell him into slavery, or they give him to slavery. Mm -hmm. But you know, every time they put him down, Joseph came up. Yes, he did. Amen. He even found his way up. Mm -hmm. This is you. It doesn't matter what people have done, no matter what the world tries to do. Yeah. You're going to find your way up. Why? Yes. Because he's going to promote you. Right. He's going to bring you up. That's what yes. the Bible says. Amen. Amen. So see yourself this way. Yes. And don't wallow in the mud. Don't wallow That's in the it. bad news. Just think about the good news. That's what yes. we are. Amen. The gospel. The good news of God. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. I want I want you to, I want you to be a happy Bible wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to read a sad Bible, a bad Bible. Oh. Amen. So remember this. We must be willing and able to continue yes. the works of Jesus in the world. Sharing what the kingdom of God should look like uh -huh. through our words and our actions. Uh -huh. Remember last week we, we read uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Read them 
in the King James, but read them also in the Amplified. The Amplified says that we're to be imitate Him. Yes. We're to be imitators of God. Yes. Amen. Says imitate Him. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I act this way because that's just the way I am. Yeah. Well, you know, you got to let the Word of God clean you up. Yeah. Amen. And you can start acting the way your father acts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Watch your words, watch your actions. Uh -huh. Serve Him first. Yeah. And when you start getting him in there and start feeding on the word, the word is going to clean you up and yeah. you're going to start acting like him. That's it. And imitating <laughs> him and not yourself yeah, and not the world. That. Amen. We're going to imitate the world if that's all we see. Yes. And that's all we hear. But if we get in the word, the word of God says, renew your mind with the uh -huh. word of God because all these distractions will come your way. Because they don't want you to be good. That's but when it. you start feeding on the word, yes. renewing your mind with the word. Amen. Amen. Feed your spirit of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind with the word of God yeah. and crucify flesh. the flesh. Because yes. <laughs> the flesh just wants to be take it easy and, yeah. and take a ride, you know. Right. But if your your, your spirit uh, uh, um, if your spirit is strong in the word. Yes. And you're energized in the word, yes. and your mind is renewed with the word. Right. Your flesh has to follow, because yep. <laughs> that's two against one. Mm -hmm. and, and your flesh, <laughs> you crucify it, and you just gotta yeah. go with what the word of God says. That's Amen. It. That's <laughs> it. Come on, right? <laughs> Can't explain it better. <laughs> so, Jesus is betrayed by Judas. One of his disciples for 30 pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. So, if you know, if you got a treasure, make sure uh, mm -hmm. you don't have no uh, Judas uh, spirit in him. <laughs> <laughs> for 30 pieces oh, of silver. Right. And you know what he did? Yeah. <laughs> when he had it suffer, he dismissed him. And he says, Judas, don't. You know what you got to do. Uh -huh. He already knew. He said, one of them at the table is against him. Mm -hmm. And that was Judas. He had already agreed to sell Jesus out. Yes. For thirty pieces of silver, he oh says, "Go gosh. and do what you what you must do." Mm -hmm. Amen. So, man, you can he know. Listen, I've said this before. He knows all your shortcomings. Yes. He knows all the bad things about you. Right. And he loves you. Nobody loves you better than him. He loves you. Amen. God sacrificed Jesus. Jesus gave his life. Uh -huh. Amen. And he wants you. He's called you to fulfill that right. that. That, that mission that he's called you to do. Yes. Amen. So praise God. He did, uh, denied by his closest friend, Peter, three times. Mm -hmm. He had three opportunities. He says, I'll fight for you. He said, before the cock crows, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When, when the third time, when the cock crows the third time, Jesus looked at Peter and Peter looked at Jesus. Oh, boy. And he knew what he's talking about. He cried. Yes. But you know, God is not finished with you. You know That's why? Right. Because he didn't give up on Peter. No, he didn't. He used Peter twice. Uh -huh. And I'm sure many other times. But twice it says he brought thousands into uh -huh. souls into the kingdom of God. Amen. He used them to preach an awesome message. Yes. And bring souls into the kingdom. Yes. So he's not giving up on you. Right. Amen. He's not giving up on you. Don't you give up on yourself. And don't let nobody tell you you're no. done. Amen. You're right. finished. No. Amen. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. So he's not giving up on you. He was abandoned by everyone of his own followers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody took a hike. Man, you ever turn the light on roaches? <laughs> Guess what? When the soldiers show up, when the soldiers showed up, first thing I want you to catch is this. I don't know if you ever read this, but when the soldier says, "Where is who is Jesus?" He says, "That's me." They all fell back. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the power. That's it. That's his power. Mm -hmm. They all fell back. You know, if I was one of them soldiers, I would have ran right then, <laughs> or I would have just got on my knees and walked over, oh. crawled over to him, and says, oh. "You know, <laughs> I want to be your follower." Yeah. I mean, that's enough power without touching them for them yes. to fall back. Yes. Amen. That's the power. Amen. Like the lady with the issue of blood says, mm -hmm. if I could only touch the helm of his garment. Yeah. <laughs> As he touched it, and guess what? 
Jesus is pushing through a crowd. And then he tells his disciples, somebody touch me. He says, what are you talking about? You keep, you keep running into people. He yeah. says, somebody touched me the right way. Yes. And they drew that energy, yes. that anointing from that him. Yes. Amen. And that's what we need to do when we spend time with him. <laughs> Touch him the right way. Yes. I need Thank you, Lord. Lord. I need you. I need that strength. Yes. I need what you've got. Yes. By his stripes, you are healed. Amen. Amen. You're a winner, a champion. See yourself yes. that way. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what your body's telling you. you right. Know that by Jesus' stripes, he yes. took all the stripes on his back. You know, uh -huh. this is a week where they show the passion of Christ. Uh -huh. And you see Jesus take a beating on his back. That's nothing. The Bible said he was unrecognizable. unrecognizable. And right. they still couldn't kill him. Right. He did, they didn't kill him until he surrendered himself mm -hmm. to the Father. And says, forgive them for what they've done. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, yeah. regardless of what your flesh is telling you what your body is telling you say wait a minute <laughs> i'm a child of god i don't deserve this i don't no sickness in my body that's right by jesus Christ, i'm healed you speak to it yes amen you speak to it sometimes we speak the problem more than uh. we speak the word amen. we magnify the, the problem more than we magnify our god that's right we need to do this. We need to learn from yes. this. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I my two. <laughs> He's dragged away as a criminal for committing no crime. You know, they took him before the king. And they, and they brought out Barnabas, <laughs> a killer, uh, a crook. Barabbas. A Barabbas, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and he says, which one do you want? <laughs> he says, oh, Barabbas, of course. <laughs> uh, somewhere in here... Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm getting to it, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Okay. It's, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so they drag him away as a criminal. Yes. The silent and innocent king stands in front of earthly powers uh -huh. where he is beaten, sped on, mm. and found guilty. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they rather, you know, in the evil days, in, in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, it says, in the evil days, I mean, in the last days, it's going to be worse. Yeah. Or they call it good, uh -huh. evil. Uh -huh. And they're reversing these things, you yeah. know, <laughs> putting all kind of good names to them, you know. Mm -hmm. So we've got to be careful. Yes. Good Friday, Jesus is arrested. A crown of thorns placed on his head. He's crowned king. Mm -hmm. Nails driven through his hands and feet. Mm. And Jesus is crucified. Amen. Executed. Sacrificed. Yeah. For us. For me and you. Yeah. Amen. But we have eternal life. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Those who betray Jesus like his disciples. Seeking things. Instead of him. Some of us. We need to be careful. This one here. Seeking the blessings. Yeah. Instead of the bless or. Yes. Yeah. You know, if you got him, you got the blessings. That's it. That's and he wants it. to bless you. Say, hey, count my blessings. Yes. One by one. Thank you, Lord. You know, we're so blessed by the best. Yes. We're so blessed to be stressed. Mm. Amen. Come on now. Too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed to be stressed. That's it. Seeking things instead of peace and understanding. Making excuses for not assembling ourselves together. Oh, oh you know, hey. What, what's it called now? COVID nineteen. Oh gosh. Yeah, well, we can't we can't come together, you know, because hey, I know you're still making a living out there. You got to be around people to make a living. Huh? Oh my come gosh. on, now. you got to go to the store and be around no, people. Come on. <laughs> but you can't assemble yourselves together. Right, right. Yeah. You know, they want to destroy us oh. assembling ourselves together. Right, right. We we can't disobey that. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can still come together. That's we can it. come together and party. We can come together and go to a ball game. Yeah. We can come together and do all kinds of things. Uh -huh. But we can come together and study the Word of God. Mm. Encourage one another. Yeah. Call one another. Yeah. Come on now. Woo! I'm preaching right. better than Amen to me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making excuses for not serving Him or His people. Yeah. You don't have to be in this place. That's it. He's called you. 
to go and minister and serve his people. Yes. Wherever you are. That's Amen. It. Some of us have different calls. The Bible says fivefold ministry is apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Yeah. Amen. Some of us are called the five, the five, five what do you call it, five, fivefold ministry. Yes. Some are just called the goat. Yes. Amen. All of us are called. Yes, we are. Amen. All of us are called. Now, this is the one I was going to talk to you about, and uh, we can close after this. All right. <laughs> Do we abandon him like the disciples? Mm -hmm. Going about our daily lives as if Jesus never existed. Mm -hmm. And you don't want nobody ever bring it up. But Jesus put in your heart. Or in your, you know, sometimes we say heart in your spirit. Yes. Share with so and so uh -huh. and let him know how much I love him. Oh no, I can't say that. No. Huh. We zip the lip. You know, when we zip, <laughs> we zip the lip when we shouldn't. And we unzip it when we oh. should. Did I say that right? No, it's, I think you said it backwards. It's, it said it backwards. <laughs> but we need to zip it when we want to say something negative. You're right. Amen. And you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yes, we do, Pastor. Zip, zip it at the right times. <laughs> Other times we just let it all out uh -huh. like a shotgun. And mm -hmm. say all kind of negative things. Yeah. And it just comes right back at you. Mm. Amen. Pray for Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> deny him like Peter. Or deny him like the prodigal son. Uh-huh. Just go. You know, deny him. Oh, I don't I don't know him. I don't know him at all. Oh wow. I'm not one of them. No. Mm. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Only on Sundays. <laughs> I'm closing a few minutes here. <laughs> Jesus paid the price for our salvation. Yes, Still, we reject him, disobey him, and abandon him. Mm -hmm. oh, come on now, I'm preaching good. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> they tell us about, listen, this is it. I'll close with this. They tell us about a bad flu, COVID-19. They tell us about bad weather. They tell us about hurricanes, earthquakes. They tell us about uh, bad economy. And guess what? Hey, we prepare ourselves. Yeah. Man, we're ready. We're ready, man. We, we're prepared. And the <laughs> Bible's been telling us about Jesus coming back, and we ignore it. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> Put a smile on their face. All right. <laughs> Jesus coming back, and we ignore it. Mm. We still haven't done anything about it. We need to go and share the good news. Yes. And let them know there's a better way. Yes. God's way. God's Amen. way. <laughs> Amen. So, yeah, there's going to be some ugly bad weathers coming up. And it's going to get bad in the last days. It's going to yes. get worse in the last worse. days. Yes. We're, we're, we need to be grounded on the yes. way. It says when you've been all yes. to stand, stand. Yes. That's it. Man, grow you some roots, man. Yes. And have faith in him. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. It doesn't matter how bad it gets. I'm on his side. Uh -huh. Amen. And uh, I'm going to go and fulfill what he's called me to do. And you do the same thing. Yes. So praise God. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to yes. share your word. Thank, Thank you, you for this Palm Sunday. And we're going to celebrate. And we're going to say Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Help us to be hearers and doers of your yes, word. Amen. Your and word. help us to step out in faith. Yes. Amen. Knowing that you are with us. Then you love and never leave us nor forsake us. That's right. Amen. We're not by ourselves. Greater is he that's in us yes. than he that is in the world. Amen. So praise God. Amen. So we've talked about this, but if you have anything in your body that's hurting you, anything in your body is not functioning right. <laughs> Just lay your hands to it. Amen. And know what the Word of God says. Amen. By Jesus' stripes, you were healed. So yes. body, line up with the Word of God and be healed. Amen. Sickness, you have no room in that body. That's right. Out. You're out. You're gone in Jesus' name. Amen. So whatever the ail, whatever the sickness, thank yes. you, Father, for touching that person, Father. Yes. From the head to the toes, Father, they yes. heal totally in Jesus' name. Spirit of infirmity has Amen. to go. Yes, and spirit of infirmity has to go. Amen. So praise God, if you never asked Jesus, your Lord and Savior, if you didn't repeat a few minutes ago, 
Or if you've said it before and you want to redo it again, you can say it every time. I used to do that when I first came to Christ. Every time they had a salvation message on or repeat. Man, I was repeating it there all the time and I still do. But you know, all you have to do is say, I've heard so-and-so, I've heard brothers or sisters so-and-so and this is what they say. But your word of God says, there's a chance. Yes. Yes. Jesus made a way and he's the only way. And yes. I want to make sure that I make it to heaven. Amen. 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 So you know, all you have to do is say, I repent. I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And start living for him. Start Amen. learning his word. Yes. And start pressing on and yes. stepping out in faith Amen. and doing for him. Amen. So Amen. praise God. And we'd like to also give you a, a, an opportunity for those of you who want to sow to this ministry. Just uh, let me see our website. Go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. And uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Praise God. So you know if we've been a blessing to you. Just go ahead and uh, and hit that donate button. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God.